Well, collectors, it's time to shake it and not stir it again with this James Bond 007 stuff. We have this Kyosho brand. They made a whole series of vehicles from the movies. Uh, 399 yen, around four dollars. And this was made back around in 2006. So if you want to pause, there are the other vehicles. But today we're looking at one of the Acro Stars. These little jets here. There's a one with landing gear down and. We have Type B, the flight mode one. I remember this scene. Uh, Roger Moore is James Bond in this one, this movie Octopussy. And uh, he gets in this jet and he flies it through a warehouse and then later he pulls up to a gas station to, to fill it up with gas or something like that. So there's some instructions here. The wings do fold up and then there's a stand. All right. So here's a stand. All right, it's got two little pins on it. It's a pretty fragile looking stand. And then there's still a screw holding this thing in place. So I gotta get this thing off. So the Acrostar is claimed to be the world's smallest jet aircraft. It weighs only 360 pounds or 162 kilos. It can go 300 miles per hour or 480 kilometers an hour. And then it's only 17 feet wide, or 5.2 meters wide. So, again, look at this person, right? Alright, so, let's see. We can fold the wings down. Hopefully. Hopefully there's no weird stuff in the hinge. This one doesn't want to open so much. Okay, there it goes. It kind of snaps in place. Oh, what is he? Alright. On the bottom, it's actually molded. It says here, Acrostar. But uh, Wikipedia is telling me this is known as a BD-5J. BD was an aircraft company, and these were kit, kit aircraft. Most of them were propellers. There'd be a propeller back here. But uh, a person named BD created these things, and they sold a few hundred of them, I think. And anyways, so let's compare it to some photos here. Or try to. This model is 172 scale, this whole collection. They uh, did that to fit those standard Kyosho bases. So let's pop the wings up and see if it looks like this. Uh... Mm, I don't know if you can fold the wings as high as that, so maybe not. And then let's pop this on the stand. Well, that stand is questionable. Doesn't seem to want to stay in. Oh, maybe it's that way. Okay. Well, I like how Kyosha got that little uh, tube on the front end. Here's this uh, image where it's flying into that warehouse. And then here's an image of it next to the Wallace uh, gyrocopter, which I've reviewed in the past. So both of which are pretty small vehicles. All right, so let's get those wings back down. You can see here, like there's such a weird gap, but if you push it in, it, it helps close it, right? But the, I do feel like this stand is very loose. It's kind of scary. I'm afraid if I just leave it on the stand and this review is gonna fall out. So in fact, I'm going to come back. I'm going to put some putty in this thing. Well, I decided to assemble as, as, as instructed. This stand, you use the original screw, and it screws into this. And then I put a little bit of uh, poster board putty in there to keep it from falling out. All right, let's take a closer look at this thing. So all these stripes here are tampo printed. They're not decals, so that's pretty nice. I think considering those wings move, those gaps aren't that bad. Um, the canopy, let's see what's inside there, if anything. It's unfortunately black, just like the car interiors. And there's no indication of like a flight stick, you know, a stick in the middle. So, I don't know if there should be one though, to be honest with you. I didn't look up images of the interior. Okay, well, the little jet engine there is painted silver in the back, and there's a recess in the back, in it, so that's good. The wings, uh, that... The rear stabilizers seem pretty horizontal. Alright. 
right, well, there's some NACA ducts there in front of the rear vertical wing. And the panel cuts are okay, I suppose. And then we saw the bottom a little bit already. Right, so, okay, no show on that. Well, there's not much to it, so not much to say. So I guess we'll compare it to a couple of uh, image models, I mean, from uh, this collection. Alright, I'm going to pull out the weird vehicles from this collection. I got the Q-Boat here. That Pierce Brosnan uh, rode around in. I forget what the movie was, though. I kind of wish these bases would actually say the movie name next to the vehicle. Or maybe on the other side they would write the movie name. Alright, this is, uh, I know Sean Connery was in this one, this moon buggy. And then I think Sean Connery was also in this one, this uh, Wallace gyrocopter. So these are the stranger vehicles. But to give a sense of scale would be the Lotus Esprit submarine that Roger Moore uh, flew off a dock and into the, the water. So these are all supposed to be the same scale, meaning that that moon buggy is huge. The jet is really small, the helicopter is really small, or the gyrocopter. And then that jet ski boat is actually kind of big as well. So, I'll give you guys a top view here. Alright. So I'm pretty happy with the detail on these guys. Considering they're 172 scale, I think I think they have good enough detail, and frankly, there really isn't any alternative on these smaller sizes. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are probably alternatives in larger scales, but I don't really have the room or the passion, you know, to collect large scales of these, even though I like the movies. Alright, well, uh, there's still several more I have to get from this collection, so hopefully someday. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.